Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the BoxyBox from D-Link. This episode specifically, we're going to show you how to control your BoxyBox using an application. Now, when you buy the BoxyBox, it does come with a remote control here that has the remote controls on one side and a keyboard on the other. But this isn't always ideal. The one thing you'll notice is that everything here is in black, and this isn't always particularly visible when you're in low light, which you often are when you're watching video. Now, you can use a remote control that you can download to your iPhone. Now, if you built your BoxyBox from scratch, this application may become more of a necessity because when you build it, of course, you don't get the remote control that comes with the BoxyBox when you buy it at retail. Now, if you have it on a Mac Mini, you can use the remote control that comes with the Mac Mini, but you can't do that on a Windows machine unless you're willing to use a wireless keyboard and mouse attached to it, and that's not always realistic when you're across the room and you don't have places beside your chair where you can put the keyboard and the mouse. To download the app, open up your iPhone and go to the App Store. Search for Boxy Remote. Then download it and install it to your device. It's a free download. Then once you've downloaded and installed it, you tap on it to open it, and there you have your remote. Now, it does have to be on the same local network as your BoxyBox, so if you have a Wi-Fi network, it has to be on the same one. Even if that one's connected via wireless, it does have to be able to see each other on the network. Now, there's two different modes for interacting with your BoxyBox using the application. One is a button-based mode, which replicates the buttons that you'll see on the one side of your controller. And then when you have to enter text using the keyboard, the keyboard on your iPhone will open up and allow you to enter text that way. The other is a gesture-based mode, which shows the Boxy logo in the middle of your iPhone screen and allows you to navigate by pushing the Boxy logo around the screen. Now, it's worth noting that while you have the application running on your iPhone, it'll keep the screen up and running so you continually have access to the buttons needed to control the Boxy box, and that'll run down the battery on your iPhone. So you can power down the iPhone and make sure that the screen powers off, but then you won't have access to your Boxy box until you fire it up again, which can take a little bit of time and it can be a little bit annoying. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you ways of using your boxy box. And you can check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.